Hey guys, Big HD here. You know, I've been wanting to do this video ever since I heard the news about the upcoming Legend of Zelda movie coming out. I figured I'd put in my thoughts on the whole concept of a Legend of Zelda movie. I mean, there's just a lot to unpack here overall. I mean, it's crazy to think that we actually have a Zelda movie confirmed directly from Miyamoto, of all people. And, and, and the project was, has been in development for like the past 10 years. You can tell there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes in regards to uh, this Nintendo property, which is going to be handled by Sony. Sony Pictures. So it's a little concerning and a little questionable the fact that we have Sony handling a Nintendo property. I mean, when I see that, the first thing that comes to mind is dogs and cats living together mass hysteria. I have no idea what to expect from this. One thing that does kind of concern me though is that the movie itself, uh, they, they confirmed that it's going to be live action. I feel like it's not necessary. Personally, I would have loved an animated film instead because there's just more liberties, more imagination, more things to do. Limiting this to uh, live action, it just feels like uh, it just doesn't really feel like it's ready for that yet. So that's kind of concerns me. I've been a Zelda fan ever since, uh, ever since I was a little kid and actually played the Zelda 2. Zelda 2 was actually my first Zelda game because the, the first one I did see but I never really did play until like years later. And I eventually grew as a Zelda fan with A Link to the Past, then Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, then I played uh, Link's Awakening, Ages, Season, and I tried to keep up to date with, uh, with uh, the latest Zelda games. Of course, the most recent one is uh, Tears of the Kingdom. The only ones that I've never really finished completely would probably be uh, A Link Between Worlds and uh, Triforce Heroes and I really have to get to, to those just to see what they are. But anyway, the whole thing about the Zelda movie, I'm cautiously optimistic about the, the concept itself. I just want to be clear about one thing in particular. I don't want any pandering, I don't want any inclusivity bullshit. I want this movie to be the best movie ever made. I don't want inclusivity. I don't want diversity. Whoever's making this movie should leave their ego at the door and make this damn movie work. I want to be very clear with that. I want this to be a, a passion project. I don't want diversity claims. I don't want people to claim that, no, this is supposed to be for a black person. This is supposed to be for a Native American. Ah, no, 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 no. No, tell the story how it's supposed to be. I get it, The Legend of Zelda has a very diverse cast, but please, this is a video game series that is very near and dear to my heart, and I don't want all the corporate backstage babbling ruining this movie for me. I'm a little concerned about the whole idea of the Zelda movie being live action, because this whole trend that's going on in Hollywood with all the diversity and pandering and inclusivity, and I wish I was uh, behind the scenes directing this or writing the movie. Leave your ego at the door, because I want people to get the job done. Work on the damn movie. This is The Legend of Zelda. I grew up playing Zelda games. And I don't want someone else's political correctness or other behind the scenes bullshit ruining something that is very close to me. I may be a fan, but I'm also an animator. And I'm also a script writer. And it just pains me to, to see all this crap that's been happening in, in Hollywood for the quality of, of the script writing. It's just been so crappy. I just don't want that to play a factor in The Legend of Zelda. So I've been very concerned as to what will happen behind the scenes as to who's penning the script, who's doing all the uh, backstage casting, who's going to be the right actors for the role. So it's, it's very tricky to see how they're going to play this off. I just don't want uh, Hollywood to ruin something and tarnish something like what happened with Dragon Ball Evolution years ago. Or what's going on with the live action adaptations of anime, which don't always hold up. I mean, it's a hit and miss scenario. Regardless, um, I'm still wondering, like, what would the setting be when it comes to Zelda? Because when it comes to continuity, Zelda's all over the place. I mean, you look at, okay, the first game. We thought the first game was like the main basis, the main foundation of the story. Then they did Ocarina of Time and they said, no, this is the first game of the timeline. Then, the Minish Cap. No, that's the first game in the timeline. Then came Skyward Sword. No, no, this is the first game in the timeline. So it's like internally Nintendo can't really make up their minds as to what established like the, the first game in the lore in the, in the timeline. I mean, Ocarina of Time has already caused a bit of a mess, just splitting up the timelines into three. And then the Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom come in, and, and I guess, in theory, it's probably saying, no, 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 all the stuff that, have, that happened in these games, yeah, they're all canon, it's just they somehow get tied in together. So we don't really have an idea as to what the setting would be but the, I think the main centerpiece, the best way you can start a Zelda story is to revolve it around Ocarina of Time. That would be the main basis. We already have an established hero, a backstory, a villain, and a princess. And the story itself, pretty straightforward. One thing that will 
kind of concern me is that uh, the dungeon exploration aspect has to be severely limited. If this was a direct adaptation, we'd spend like 8 hours uh, exploring dungeons. It's kind of tricky to do this type of adaptation when Zelda has always been more focused on the dungeon exploration. Now more recently more focused on open world exploration. I do feel like Ocarina of Time should be like the main focus of this Zelda movie. Unless someone behind the scenes eventually decides, well why don't we do it based around let's say Breath of the Wild. Or, or based around, uh, I don't know, A Link to the Past. I mean, you could take it any direction, sure. But I just feel like the main focus should be more on Ocarina of Time. As for the cast and crew, there's this whole meme of like Tom Holland being the right pick for Link. I don't know. I He's okay as Spider-Man, but I just don't feel like he should be picked at all. I know it's a whole meme, but... Seeing Tom Holland as Link just doesn't feel right. If anything, I just want to see a completely unknown person, an unknown actor, play this character. I mean, in the same vein that they got Mark Hamill to play Luke Skywalker when he was relatively unknown at the time. Or when they got Jake Lloyd to play Anakin Skywalker. Or when they got uh, Daniel Radcliffe to play Harry Potter. I want the cast to be full of relatively unknown people that are just getting into Star Trek. And that's another thing that's also a bit of concern. In every Legend of Zelda story, we have a different version of Link. He's either a kid, or he's a young teen, or he's a young adult. His age may vary between 10, 12, maybe 15, up until like 17. Or in this case, if we take into account the game's Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, the guy is pretty much the world's oldest teenager, over 117 something years old. But I digress, I mean it really depends on the direction that they take the story. Now for music, Music, I'm not really sure. Of course, Koji Kondo has to be involved, but I just don't want any more uh, any more Hollywood meddling. I just want Koji Kondo's music to resonate uh, in the big screen. Not much to say about that exactly, but I just want his music to literally come to life on screen. Because who doesn't love hearing an orchestrated adaptation of a Zelda song? Particularly when you go to these like video game orchestras. I came to love them ever since I kind of discovered them over the years through peer-to-peer -peer networks, through uh, torrent sites, back back then. Just hearing those orchestrated adaptations, they just warm me up and really excite me just hearing that music. And I just want to hear that type of adaptation like on uh, on the big screen. So I don't really know what else to say. I'm just really nervous about the overall results of what this movie is going to be like. I want this movie to succeed. I'm a little concerned about it being live action. I hope they hire new talent for the, for the cast instead of let's say hiring top celebrities for no reason. I mean, that's a hit and miss scenario, but if you're going to hire an A-list celebrity actor, make that person the villain. So I'm not really sure what to expect here. I want the movie to do well. We're still not sure how the movie's going to be portrayed, how long it's going to be made, if it's going to be in development hell or not. I just hope things turn out well in the end. I'm going to be in the movie theaters checking it out, as long as there are no controversial events happening before or during or after production, because that's also another matter. They have to keep things clean. They have to keep things positive and optimistic. Stay away from the drama. I want this movie to stay away from any drama behind the scenes. There's just so much I want to say, but I don't know if I can even get my point across at times. So what are your thoughts on The Legend of Zelda movie? Are you going to check it out? Do you have different views of what the Zelda movie is going to be like? Or is this going to be another live action disaster? I hope it's not going to be that way. I want it to do well, but I'm just really concerned about the live action aspect. So what do you think? Uh, leave your comments down below. I'd like to see what your opinions are on the, on the Zelda movie. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell for more videos. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.